So Jump Festa. So uh, like I said at the beginning of this episode, I brought up how Jump Festa really ain't, ain't it for us at least. It's been something that every time we always look forward to it, there's just really never anything that we really look forward to. Like Jump Festa is essentially what a lot would, I guess, consider the E3 of anime. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's usually never anything like substantial or like, like, okay, like they're going to have announcements for all of these different series. But a lot of those series are just things that are just already existing. So it's like, oh, y'all are announcing another arc or another, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing too, too much of value and that much excitement, you know, but there's one specific thing that I want to bring up, but I'm going to, you know, give, I'm going to just read off this list. Because Jump Festa is going on for, uh, looks like two days. Um, and then it's uh, December 17th and 18th. Of course, this is Japan time. Okay. So on the day one, they're going to have uh, news on Black, Col Bleh, Black Clover, right? Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay. Prince of Tennis. All Ooh, right. Prince of Tennis. Fucking Ryoma. Oh, fucking. Oh, bah, fucking Prince out here. Tennis. Okay. All right. Boruto Naruto. Boruto. They they but but they 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 split it with Naruto though. So the, asterisk on that, right? And then My Hero Academia. That's all day one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Day two, some news on Spy Family. I don't know if you guys have watched Spy Family. No. Have you? No, I haven't either. A lot of people like it. I I just uh, no interest, right? Demon Slayer. Mm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that's another gruesome one yeah yeah it has, ooh, yeah exactly that's what I'm talking. <laughs> it, i don't know like demon slayer episodes are only 10 out of 10 <laughs> motherfuckers make me cry bro oh <laughs> shit well not like that you know but i just had to put it <laughs> yeah okay you know what i mean speaking of well not gruesome but introduce characters you watch a like... demon slayer like yo why is my why is my eye leaking <laughs> <Why> is, <laughs> what, right? is, what is this fucking malfunction in my eyeball um, so after Demon Slayer, Doctor Stone. Mm -hmm. Did you you watch it with us? No, I didn't finish it. Oh man, see this fire. is too much fucking science. Man, man, this is where me nah, and Kai. Dude, it is fire. It's fire. Listen, this is no where action. This is where no. I was sleeping. Oh, oh my god, you can't appreciate shit. <laughs> Listen, this is <laughs> no, the one so fucking man. anime. This is the one anime that literally Kai and I would have changed majors if we watch that shit in Listen, college if i that that like dr so and some shit that should have came out years ago when i was taking fucking biology and shit like that <laughs> Yo, like, exactly like, that's what i'm saying yeah yeah then i would probably pass more p fucking tests <laughs> <laughs> you know but you know whatever yeah, but Dr. that's Fuck but see, Stone. but Doctor Stone, man, like it's just one of those unique series that I've never seen done in that way. That it just caught us off guard completely. When I say us, I mean Kai and myself, because clearly you were asleep during that <laughs> shit. And and one of my favorite things about it, not even just within the show, because obviously it just made me want to be a fucking scientist and care about that stuff in the first place. But dude, this anime has literally one of the best opening ending combinations. And that's a very important part for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. The the opening and that ending are S S S S S S tier. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't even remember. Exactly. Them, so you can't honest, talk. So. You can't say shit. But like <laughs> Don't be a YouTube comment. The, don't don't do that. The opening and closing <laughs> are important though. They are. For for good enemies. It sets the tone, it sets the mood, it gets you ready. You know what I'm saying? And it and it, and it sends you like off in a good way. I feel like I, I agree with you. Dr. Stone is one of those animes where it's like you, you just didn't see it coming. You know, it's like, oh, this man's just going to be doing science the whole time. It's like, uh, you know, like, all right, it's cool. Whatever. Let me let me see what's good with it. And then by the end of it, I was fucking popping off for no reason. Like, right. It got me. Right. And I feel like the only other show that I've seen that had that type of like 180 effect on me was Kuroko. Because I'm sitting here like, yo, it's just basketball. It's not that deep. And then at the end of it, I was fucking hype. Mm. Nah, Kirko's diffy. <laughs> Kirko by the by, like the mid season, that shit was that shit caught me. Yeah, well, first of all, I was I was hooked in on the first episode. Well, yeah, yeah. Once you figured that they got like powers to themselves, pretty much within the basketball field and shit, <laughs> you know, like, basketball court. 
Dude, they were Calm. they were OD with it when it came down to freaking Kirk on a basket. But that, of course, unfortunately, there's no Kirko list or thing on here, so don't get it twisted. I'm sorry for if you anyone thought that. There's two other anime on the day two, right? Chainsaw Man, which I actually talked about on another episode that you should definitely check out if you haven't watched it. Um, I actually am behind. There's like three episodes in already. I've only seen the first one. And then One Piece. Obviously One Piece, <laughs> right? One Piece. Now, then there's uh, another list that there is a, a Neo stage that um, I guess talks about other series. Then these, these ones, I'm sure some you guys might be familiar with. I know that there's going to be some on this list that are... Ooh, you'll probably never have heard of. I've never have heard of. Um, but I'll go over it really quick. So um, I'll fly by it. There's, I'll be like, hold on. Where, do I have a wrong answer button? I do. Okay. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to read these off. And if y'all recognize it, I will hit a ding. If you don't, I will hit that. Okay. <laughs> we'll make it fun really quick. Okay. Mission Yozakura Family. Okay, <laughs> Mori Moriarty the Patriot. Okay, uh, Undead Unlock. Nope. No? I've actually heard of it. I actually know it's a. It's like a. It's been a. It's a, It's been a manga. Um, I think I don't even know how long it's been around for, but I I have heard of it. Right. Hokkaido gals are super adorable. <laughs> what is that? Chained soldier. Uh, uh, Me and Robico. Uh, oh wait, Did, have you heard it? No. Okay, I have, and I can tell you this right now. Me and Robico is fucking hilarious. I've actually that's a manga, and it's 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 a pure comedy manga. Can't do it. Pu <laughs> Why not? Can't do it. Okay, I'll tell you about it then, Kai. B basically, me and Robico is a series where it's this kid. It's it's literally just kids, right? It's this one. It's this kid, right? And they all they live in obviously their town, and everybody has like a robot companion, but they look like maids, right? And it's like it's like if you're like you know. I guess if you can afford one, you have one, right? So this dude's like, oh man, I can't wait to have a Robico, like da da da, whatever. And of course. His is not like, you know, the fucking thick looking, nice, you know, looking maid type. He gets like a fat chick, right? And and it and that's what's part of the humor because he's like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> like he's all tight and shit but they like they, they form like a like a bond and like you know she's obviously a good robot and she's very caring and she looks out for everybody and there's random shit that happens it's pure comedy it's a nice different shit to enjoy that's not head ass dragon ball you know what i'm saying i need serious i know you need fucking serious you're always serious death <laughs> <laughs> Holy Something. shit. But yeah, I, I recommend Mean Robico. I, I, I was keeping up with it for a while and then I fell off. But it's really funny. So this might be where they announce it's anime, I'd imagine. It's Jump Festa. So there we go. Uh, World Trigger. Yeah. I never finished it though. I kind of, yeah. I liked it, but I fell off of it. Yeah. Like really hard somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, same. After, I don't even know, like season one maybe. There's like what? It's still going, I think. I, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's still ongoing. And that's crazy, cause like I like animes like that. Cause mm -hmm. what? I think I, uh, I, I think I like got on it because it's it was something similar to Sword Art. Oh. Because like after I finished Sword Art, well, I actually I stopped to finish the latest one. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, man, but me too. <laughs> yeah, but back in the day when after I was actually caught up with Sword Art and shit, I was looking for similar animes like that. Right. And like World Trigger is one of them. So, right, right, right. Okay. I just never finished it. Or like, I, don't know. I know Sword Art released a new movie, I think, last week in Japan. So I'm waiting for that to come to the States. Ugh. Yeah, I... Shit, I, I left off at the Gun Gale. Oh, no. Yeah, Gun Gale online. The, it was like season yeah, two. Yeah, you're like three seasons yeah. behind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Listen, it's 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 on my list it still. It kind of though dirty. Yeah straight flames ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um okay and then the last thing on this on the neo stage on the first day is dark gathering 
Never heard of it either. Okay. Now, the second day, uh, this is for the Neo stage, of course. Ron Kamonahashi, Deranged Detective. Mm -mm. Okay. Ayakashi Triangle. I feel like I've heard of this. Nope. You oh. think you feel like you've heard of it too, right? Some Somewhere lost in the void. Right, yeah. Yeah, so we're giving it a... <laughs> right? Because we both heard of it. You definitely... Yeah, no. Okay. 2Q Crisis. <laughs> Roroni Kenshin, the Hokkaido arc. No. You've never heard of Roroni Kenshin? I've heard of Roroni Kenshin. I've heard of Roroni you. Kenshin, but yeah. I don't... Okay. I've heard of Roroni Kenshin, but I haven't watched it. So if I'm correct... So obviously, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, right? But I believe this is a reanimated series. Like they're doing it again. Like they're re they're giving it like the the refresher treatment, right? Which is kind of fire. Um, it's 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 a mixture of things for me personally, just because I know, uh, the unfortunate side of what has happened with the creator of Aroni Kenshin, and uh, it's pretty gross. Not gonna lie. It's so it's like, eh, like do you do you watch it for the series, knowing that, or I don't know, but. That's why I feel like sometimes it's it's almost better to not be so involved in knowing like all of the fucking business that happens with the you know, creators and stuff because like a lot of times and, and this might be this actually might be the case for a lot of fans even listening to our podcast. It's just like fans, they don't look too deep into it. They're just trying to enjoy the series for what it is. But then like, you know, sometimes things happen in, in the real world where it's just like, wow, like that that could obviously change how you view it or even continue to view it or whatever so but yeah veroni kenshin for me was it's a it's a it's a series that i only read half of it was one of those one, first mangas i ever read next to like naruto and dragon ball z and like bleach and everything veroni kenshin i actually own volumes 2 to 15 out of like 26 or 28 or something like that and that, and it's not even that long like it's it's like 28 26 28 volumes in length which is around the same amount of volumes as like Dragon Ball Z, for example. So, you know, just to kind of give you some perspective, like it's not that long of a series, but you know, it has some length to it. So it's getting uh, some sort of announcement on there. And then Hell's Paradise. I feel like I've heard of it. Oh, okay. Sure. feel like I've heard of that. I feel like I've heard of it too. Low key, yeah. Blue Exorcist. Yep. A. I've, a. I didn't finish, finish season two though. I need to finish season oh, one. Fire. Season one was really good. Yeah. It's really good. And then the last one here is Mashal. Mm. How come Akami got killed is not on that fucking list? Uh, That's a great question. That is one of the greatest fucking animes that has been disappointing that has not come back or made like another season. Okay. Well, okay. So here's the thing, right? So really quick, I dinged because I'm I'm familiar with Mashal. I just, I've seen it in Shonen Jump. I have never read it, but I am familiar with it. As far as Akami got killed goes, I've never seen it. That shit okay. is that's really why, good. That's why you stay asleep. Have you seen Sarah from the end? No. Because that's another one. That's another one. Akami like, got killed is definitely it. on my upsetting list. Ooh. For like future, whether it's a what? Uh, oh yeah, we're doing an extra on an that, extra guys. Or, look, look forward to the Patreon. Of course, we're gonna be doing an extra like, on most uh, upsetting fucking I have, anime like, series. Way too fucking many, girl. Yeah, and we'll list them why. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, um, I don't know if Akami got killed is shown in Jump. It might be if I am remembering correctly but yeah so we have we have some time left and the reason why obviously i wanted to bring all this up the asterisk naruto <laughs> this could be the first time in a long time where i'm gonna be i am going to be paying very close attention to that panel to that announcement time because we're, i want to know too because Boruto, I'm sure, is just gonna get you know another arc or whatever. Anime, anime is gonna continue the no, the usual normal stuff. But for Naruto, 20th anniversary, it's been around for a long time. I think, I think this is it. What? I think we're getting the new anime for Naruto, bro. New anime. The new fucking anime. Okay. What do you mean though? I mean exactly what i'm saying they're gonna fucking reanimate it to make it look up to fucking 4k quality standards oh you talking about like not like regular naruto or regular naruto vanilla considering 
considering I'm one of the few people left on this earth who's been able to avoid it for that long. I really don't know like anything in there. I feel like I would have to post reactions to it. I mean, that that'll mm. be like I would it. I mean, that'll be good for the people that have not watched it for sure. I really I don't know Cause shit. Cuz like, I mean, I me personally, I don't know if I would like rewatch. Like even if they uh, like maybe a few episodes, but like I don't know. Brand. <laughs> let me let me let me. Let me she put in our definitely. You're gonna rewatch. Watch. Let me. Let me she put in our. You don't know watch. it yet, but you're gonna rewatch. Let me, yeah. Let me let me fucking stop him there, okay? Before he says anything, anything else, fucking blasphemous. <laughs> all right. The fucking fact that Naruto, okay, our boy, our boy in the fucking blue and orange, okay, okay, <laughs> the one with the nine tail fox, all right, the dude who came up. From literally scraps, we eating fucking ramen that was expired in the room. Okay, you know, no I, milk. I, you know, I watched the 4K good fights. Thank you. Like the Rock Lee Garish. Oh no 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 no! No, if they announce this shit, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm reacting to it. I would just skip to those okay? episodes. No, no, I don't even fucking. No, watch no, all no, no, no. You gotta see it all because here's the difference, right? If they reanimate this, and obviously this is speculation, not confirmed. But if this is the because they already gave us a teaser of like, like, like to celebrate the 20th anniversary already of Naruto, which I fucking still haven't seen. I've only seen images. OK, I need to still react to that little trailer just to get hype for it. But if that yo, if they give us Naruto in 2023 or whatever, bro, that's going to be it's gonna be like it's he will take over again again mm. again again but would they release one by one or the whole thing no come on i'm sure they're gonna do it one one by one because it would be a lot better if they just fucking release the whole thing well uh, like i'm trying to say is that no the, fillers. the big difference is no fillers right and i've been saying this for so long I, whether it's been on podcast or not i've said that i miss this show so much because mm. like Again, I grew up with Naruto. I was 12 when he was 12. By the time Shippuden started, we were both fucking 15. By the time the war started and it was on his birthday when he was fighting with a certain character that I'm not even going to say, he was 16. And I was 16. Like, it was, it literally went hand in hand. So, like, I feel like, I feel very connected with Naruto. All right? Like, and, and not just with the character, but with the show completely. Like, it was a very great part in anime history obviously and like it clearly inspired several others that came after it and so if it comes back in modern day with modern technology and all the animation the cl the crispiness bro and no fillers oh oh my god it's gonna it's gonna fucking remind people why it was one of the big fucking three let's let's, let's just said, let's just fucking remind said, everybody he said, who this? Doesn't matter. We back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Our, that, that video was that funny. That shit was funny. That shit was hilarious, actually. Um, so, yeah. I, that's Big three. Out of this entire fucking list, okay, Naruto is the one. And notice, nothing for Dragon Ball. <laughs> which, we, which we talked about. Which we talked about. We figured. We're like, okay, well, that makes sense. Because if the rumors of them getting their own thing is true, well... That also makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is they have Goku on this fucking poster. And he's... What? Just for the clout. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, clout. But listen, but listen, we were talking, we were talking a previous episode about why Dragon Ball still hasn't come back and like different reasons, da 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 da. And it's, we mentioned that one of the reasons could be it's like, oh, well, you know, the animators are working on different things too. And it just randomly occurred to me. I was like, working on different things. Okay, I remember like, okay, sure, that they, they got that because I get it. They're busy people. They're underpaid people. So, all right, they, we got to show them some more love. So, sh shout out to all the animators out there, right? But at the same time, I was thinking about it and I was like, bro, I know these niggas are not put in super behind so they can work on heroes. Because we need, well, they have the right idea with heroes in the wrong way because we need a hero to save us from this bullshit, bro. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's facts. That is facts. But you know what? All I can do at this point is give them the benefit of the doubt because I swear by the time that shit comes back, that shit better be so fucking clean, crisp, glossy, however way you want to describe it. By the it needs, I've already said, I've already said my piece with it. It needs to look exactly like that little preview from the movie. If it's not, 
yeah i don't want i don't want to hear it but i will i'm gonna give them i'm gonna give them their fucking benefit okay i'm gonna give them that, that fucking benefit of the doubt because i ain't got nothing else to you know like really freaking add to that but there is one comment that i want to go over and then we're we're gonna bounce yeah all right oh that's that good shit <laughs>